Translations of the Quran are interpretations of the scripture of Islam in languages other than Arabic. Quran was originally written in the Arabic language and has been translated into most major African, Asian and European languages. Islamic theology The translation of the Quran into modern languages has always been a difficult issue in Islamic theology. Because Muslims revere the Quran as miraculous and inimitable Ijaz al -Quran, they argue that the Quranic text should not be isolated from its true form to another language or written form, at least not without keeping the Arabic text with it. Furthermore, an Arabic word, like a Hebrew or Aramaic word, may have a range of meanings depending on the context, a feature present in all Semitic languages, when compared to the moderately analytic English, Latin, and Romance languages, making an accurate translation even more difficult. According to Islamic theology, the Quran is a revelation very specifically in Arabic, and so it should only be recited in Quranic Arabic. Translations into other languages are necessarily the work of humans and so, according to Muslims, no longer possess the uniquely sacred character of the Arabic original. Since these translations necessarily subtly change the meaning, they are often called interpretations or translation s of the meanings, with meanings being ambiguous between the meanings of the various passages and the multiple possible meanings with which each word taken in isolation can be associated, and with the latter connotation amounting to an acknowledgement that the so-called translation is but one possible interpretation and is not claimed to be the full equivalent of the original, for instance, Pickthall called his translation the meaning of the glorious Quran rather than simply the Quran. The task of translation of the Quran is not an easy one. Some native Arab speakers will confirm that some Quranic passages are difficult to understand even in the original Arabic script. A part of this is the innate difficulty of any translation. In Arabic, as in other languages, a single word can have a variety of meanings. There is always an element of human judgment involved in understanding and translating a text. This factor is made more complex by the fact that the usage of words has changed a great deal between classical and modern Arabic. As a result, even Quranic verses which seem perfectly clear to native Arab speakers accustomed to modern vocabulary and usage may not represent the original meaning of the verse. The original meaning of a Quranic passage will also be dependent on the historical circumstances of the Prophet Muhammad's life and early community in which it originated. Investigating that context usually requires a detailed knowledge of hadith and surah, which are themselves vast and complex texts. This introduces an additional element of uncertainty which cannot be eliminated by any linguistic rules of translation. History The first translation of the Quran was performed by Salman the Persian, who translated Surah al-Fatiha into the Persian language during the early 7th century. According to Islamic tradition contained in the Hadith, Emperor Negus of Abyssinia and Byzantine Emperor Heraclius received letters from Muhammad containing verses from the Quran. However, during Muhammad's lifetime, no passage from the Quran was ever translated into these languages nor any other. The second known translation was into Greek and was used by Nisadas Byzantius, a scholar from Constantinople, in his Refutation of Quran written between 855 and 870. However, we know nothing about who and for what purpose had made this translation. It is however very probable that it was a complete translation. The first fully attested complete translations of the Quran were done between the 10th and 12th centuries in Persian language. The Samanid king, Mansur I (961–976), ordered a group of scholars from Khorasan to translate the Tafsir al-Tabari, originally in Arabic, into Persian. Later in the 11th century, one of the students of Abu Mansur Abdullah al-Ansari wrote a complete tafsir of the Quran in Persian. In the 12th century, Abu Hafs Omar al Nasafi translated the Quran into Persian. The manuscripts of all three books have survived and have been published several times. In 1936, translations in 102 languages were known. European languages Latin Robertus Catanensis produced the first Latin translation of the Quran in 1143. His version was entitled Lex Mahume Pseudoprophet, the law of Muhammad the false prophet. 
The translation was made at the behest of Peter the Venerable, abbot of Cluny, and currently exists in the Bibliothèque de l'Arsenal in Paris. According to modern scholars, the translation tended to exaggerate harmless text to give it a nasty or licentious sting, and preferred improbable and unpleasant meanings over likely and decent ones. Ketonensis' work was republished in 1543 in three editions by Theodore Bibliander at Basel along with Cluny Corpus and other Christian propaganda. All editions contained a preface by Martin Luther. Many later European translations of the Quran merely translated Ketonensis Latin version into their own language, as opposed to translating the Quran directly from Arabic. As a result, early European translations of the Quran were erroneous and distorted. In the early 13th century, Mark of Toledo made another, more literal, translation into Latin, which survives in a number of manuscripts. In the 15th century, Juan of Segovia produced another translation in collaboration with the Mudajar writer, Isa of Segovia. Only the prologue survives. In the 16th century, Juan Gabriel Terralensis aided Cardinal Aguida da Viterbo in another translation into Latin. In the early 17th century, another translated was made, attributed to Cyril Lucaris. Ludovico Maracci (1612–1700), a teacher of the Arabic language at the Sapienza University of Rome and confessor to Pope Innocent XI, issued a second Latin translation in 1698 in Padua. His edition contains the Quran's Arabic text with a Latin translation, annotations to further understanding, and, imbued by the time spirit of controversy, an essay titled "Refutation of the Quran," where Maracci disproves Islam from the then Catholic point of view. Despite the refutatio's anti-Islamic tendency Marachi's translation is accurate and suitably commented, besides, by quoting many Islamic sources he certainly broadens his time's horizon considerably. Marachi's translation too became the source of other European translations one in France by Savory, and one in German by Narrator. These later translations were quite inauthentic, and one even claimed to be published in Mecca in 1165 AH. Modern languages The first translation in a modern European language was in Castilian or Aragonese by the convert Juan Andrés or so he claims in his Confusion o Confutación de la Secta Mohamedica y del Alcorán but this translation is lost. A few dozen Quran verses into Castilian are found within the Confusion itself. There were lost translations in Catalan, one of them by Francis Pons Sacloda in 1382, the other appeared in Perpignan in 1384. Another Romance translation was made into Italian, 1547 by Andrea Rivabin, derived from Ketonensis. The Italian translation was used to derive the first German translation Solomon Schweiger in 1616 in Nuremberg, which in turn was used to derive the first Dutch translation in 1641. The first French translation came out in 1647, and again in 1775, issued by André du Ryer. The du Ryer translation also fathered many re-translations, most notably an English version by Alexander Ross in 1649. Ross version was used to derive several others, a Dutch version by Glazemaker, a German version by Lang. <inaudible> French language Le Coran de Mohammed, translaté d'Arabe François par le Sire du Ryer, Sire de la Garde Malazaire, 1647, 1649, 1672, 1683, 1793, 1774, 1775, by André du Ryer, was the first French translation. This was followed two centuries later in then in the mid-20th century a new translation was done by Régis Blachier a French Orientalist followed few years later in 1959 by the first translation by a Muslim into the French language from the original Arabic. This work of Muhammad Hamidullah continues to be reprinted and published in Paris and Lebanon as it is regarded as the most linguistically accurate of all translation although critics may complain there is some loss of the spirit of the Arabic original. Topic. Spanish. There are four complete translations of the Quran in modern Spanish that are commonly available. Julio Cortes' translation El Coran is widely available in North America, being published by New York-based Tariq Tarsal Quran Publishing House. 
Ahmed Aboud and Rafael Castellanos, two converts to Islam of Argentine origin, published El Sagrado Coran El Nilo, Buenos Aires, Argentina, 1953. Kamel Mustafa Halak Fine Deluxe Hardback Print El Coran Sagrado is printed by Maryland-based Amana Publications. Abdul Ghani Malara Navio a Spaniard who converted to Islam in 1979, his Traducion Commentario del Noble Koran was originally published by Darussalam Publications, Riyadh, in December 1997. The King Fahd Printing Complex has their own version of this translation, with editing by Omar Kadora and Isa Amer Quevedo. English The earliest known translation of the Quran in any European language was the Latin works by Robert of Ketton at the behest of the abbot of Cluny in c. 1143. As Latin was the language of the Church it never sought to question what would now be regarded as blatant inaccuracies in this translation which remained the only one until 1649 when the first English language translation was done by Alexander Ross, chaplain to King Charles I, who translated from a French work Le Coran de Muhammad by Du Ryer. In 1734, George Sale produced the first translation of the Quran direct from Arabic into English but reflecting his missionary stance. Since then, there have been English translations by the clergyman John Meadows Rodwell in 1861, and Edward Henry Palmer in 1880, both showing in their works a number of mistakes of mistranslation and misinterpretation, which brings into question their primary aim. These were followed by Richard Bell in 1937 and Arthur John Arbery in the 1950s. The Quran 1910 by Dr. Mirza Abul Faisal 1865 a native of East Bengal now Bangladesh, later moved to Allahabad, India. He was the first Muslim to present a translation of the Quran into English along with the original Arabic text. Among the contemporary Muslim scholars Dr. Mirza Abul Faisal was a pioneer who took interest in the study of the chronological order of the Quran and drew the attention of Muslim scholars to its importance. With the increasing population of English-speaking Muslims around the start of the 20th century, three Muslim translations of the Quran into English made their first appearance. The first was Muhammad Ali's 1917 translation, which is composed from an Ahmadiyya perspective, with some small parts being rejected as unorthodox interpretation by vast majority of Muslims. This was followed in 1930 by the English convert to Islam Marmaduke Pikthal's translation, which is literal and therefore regarded as the most accurate. Soon thereafter in 1934, Abdullah Yusuf Ali from Bora community published his translation, featuring copious explanatory annotation, over 6,000 notes, generally being around 95% of the text on a given page, to supplement the main text of the translation. This translation has gone through over 30 printings by several different publishing houses, and is one of the most popular amongst English-speaking Muslims, alongside the Pikthal and Saudi-sponsored Halali Khan translations, with few new English translations over the 1950-1980 period. These three Muslim translations were to flourish and cement reputations that were to ensure their survival into the 21st century, finding favor among readers often in newly revised updated editions. Orientalist Arthur Arbery's 1955 translation and native Iraqi Jew N. J. Dawood's unorthodox translation in 1956 were to be the only major works to appear in the post-war period. A. J. Arbery's The Quran Interpreted remains the scholarly standard for English translations, and is widely used by academics. The English translation of Kanzel Iman is called The Treasure of Faith, which is translated by Farid ul Haq. It is in simple, easy to understand modern day English. Explanations are given in brackets to avoid ambiguity, provide better understanding, and references to similar verses elsewhere. Dr. Syed Abdul Latif's translation, published in 1967, regarded highly by some, he was a professor of English at Asmania University, Hyderabad, was nevertheless short lived due to criticism of his foregoing accuracy for the price of fluency. The Message of the Quran, presented in Perspective 1974, was published by Dr. Hashim Amir Ali. He translated the Quran into English and arranged it according to chronological order. Dr. Hashim Amir Ali was a native of Salar Young, Hyderabad, Deccan. In 1938 he came under the influence of Dr. Mirza Abul Faisal Allahabadi, and took a deep interest in the study of the Quran and was aware of the significance of the chronological order of the passages contained in it. 
A Jewish convert to Islam, Muhammad Assad's monumental work The Message of the Quran made its appearance for the first time in 1980. Professor Ahmed Ali's Al Quran, a contemporary translation, Akrish Publishing, Karachi, 1984, reprinted by Oxford University Press, Delhi, 1987, Princeton University Press, New Jersey, 1988, with ninth reprinting 2001. Fazlur Rahman Malik of the University of Chicago writes, It brings out the original rhythms of the Quranic language and the cadences. It also departs from traditional translations in that it gives more refined and differentiated shades of important concepts." According to Francis Edward Peters of New York University, "...Ahmed Ali's work is clear, direct, and elegant, a combination of stylistic virtues almost never found in translations of the Quran. His is the best I have read." At the cusp of the 1980s, the 1973 oil crisis, the Iranian Revolution, the Nation of Islam and a new wave of Cold War generated Muslim immigrants to Europe and North America brought Islam squarely into the public limelight for the first time in Western Europe and North America. This resulted in a wave of translations as Western publishers tried to capitalize on the new demand for English translations of the Quran. Oxford University Press and Penguin Books were all to release editions at this time, as did indeed the Saudi government, which came out with its own retooled version of the original Yusuf Ali translation. Canadian Muslim professor T. B. Irving's Modern English translation 1985 was a major Muslim effort during that time. Quran, The Final Testament, Islamic Productions, Tucson, Arizona, 1989 was published by Rashad Khalifa, Arshad Clift, the 19th of November 1935 to the 31st of January 1990. Khalifa wrote that he was a messenger, Rasul of God and that the archangel Gabriel most assertively told him that chapter 36, verse 3 of the Quran, specifically referred to him. He is referred to as God's messenger of the covenant, by his followers. He wrote that the Quran contains a mathematical structure based on the number 19. He made the controversial claim that the last two verses of chapter 9 in the Quran were not canonical, telling his followers to reject them. His reasoning was that the verses, disrupted an otherwise flawless 19-based pattern and were sacrilegious inasmuch as they appeared to endorse worship of Muhammad. Khalifa's research received little attention in the West. In 1980, Martin Gardner mentioned it in Scientific American. Gardner later wrote a more extensive and critical review of Khalifa and his work. The arrival of the 1990s ushered in the phenomenon of an extensive English speaking Muslim population well settled in Western Europe and North America. As a result, several major Muslim translations emerged to meet the ensuing demand. One of them was published in 1990, and it is by the first woman to translate the Quran into English, Amital Rahman Omar, together with her husband, Abdul Manan Omar. In 1991 appeared an English translation under the title, The Clarion Call of the Eternal Quran, by Muhammad Khalilur Rahman b. 1906 Dhaka, Bangladesh. He was the eldest son of Shamsul Ulama Mulana Muhammad Ishaq of Burdwan, West Bengal, India, a former lecturer of Dhaka University. In 1996, the Saudi government financed a new translation, the Halali Khan Quran, which was distributed free worldwide by the Saudi government as it was in line with their particular interpretation. In 1999, a fresh translation of the Quran into English entitled The Noble Quran, a new rendering of its meaning in English by Abdalhaq and Aisha Buley, who is an American, was published by Bookwork, with revised editions being published in 2005 and 2011. The Quran in Persian and English, bilingual edition, 2001, features an English translation by the Iranian poet and author Tahir Safarzadeh. This was the third translation of the Quran into English by a woman, after Amital Rahman Omar, and Aisha Buley, and the first bilingual translation of the Quran. In 2003, the English translation of the eight volume Mariful Quran was completed, and the translation of the Quran used for it was newly done by Mufti Muhammad Taqi Usmani in collaboration with his brother Maulana Wali Razi Usmani and his teachers, Professors Hassan Askari and Muhammad Shamim. In 2004 a new translation of the Quran by Muhammad Abdul Halim was also published, with revised editions being published in 2005 and 2008. In 2007, the meanings of the Noble Quran with explanatory notes by Mufti Muhammad Taqi Usmani was published. It has been published in two volumes at first and later, in a single volume. 
It is the first single-handed English translation of the Quran done by an authentic Sunni Islamic scholar who is also one of the greatest scholars living today, if not the greatest. He also translated the Quran in simple Urdu, making him a translator of the Quran in dual languages. In 2007 the Sublime Quran appeared by Layla Bakhtiar, it is the second translation of the Quran by an American woman. In 2009 Maulana Wahiduddin Khan translated the Quran in English, which was published by Goodward Books entitled, The Quran, Translation and Commentary with Parallel Arabic Text. This translation is considered as the most easy to understand due to simple and modern English. The pocket size version of this translation with only English text is widely distributed as part of Dawa work. A rhymed verse edition of the entire Quran rendered in English by Thomas McElwain in 2010 includes rhymed commentary under the hardback title The Beloved and I, Volume 5, and the paperback title The Beloved and I, Contemplations on the Quran. In 2015 Dr. Mustafa Kitab of Al-Azhar University completed the Clear Quran, a thematic English translation, after three years of collaboration with a team of scholars, editors, and proofreaders. Noted for its clarity, accuracy, and flow, this work is believed to be the first English translation done in Canada. A Turkish scholar Haki Yilmaz worked on the Quran through the root meanings of the Arabic words and published a study called Tebayan ul-Quran and he also published a division-by-division division interpretation in the order of revelation in Turkish. His work, then was translated in English. In 2018, Dr. Musharraf Hussain released a reader-friendly presentation of the translation of the Quran that will help readers to understand the topic being read, and learn the moving and transformative message of the Quran. There are 1500 sections with headings. The infallible word of Allah is a literary masterpiece of breathtaking beauty, revealed by the most gracious and loving Lord in an authoritative yet gentle, poetic language. This refreshing and beautiful presentation of the message of the glorious Quran is accurate, and reads easily and flows smoothly. The notes help to explain special Islamic concepts and Quranic terms, as well as Arabic metaphors and idioms. This landmark translation will appeal to English readers globally. Topic. Asian languages Punjabi Shamuki In 1986 Punjabi ADBI Lair Lahore Pakistan published Quran Punjabi Shamuki translation by Maulana Hidayat Ullah. The copy of this publication is available in Quaid-e-Azam Library Lahore and library code is 234.48105Q. In 1997 Punjabi Foundation 25C Lower Mall Lahore published Punjabi Shamuki translation of Quran by Sharif Kunjahi. He was Punjay poet and writer but perhaps his masterpiece is this translation of the Quran in idiomatic and fluent Punjabi of such a high order that it has set a new standard for writing Punjabi prose. This Punjabi translation was published in 1997 by Punjabi Foundation 25C Lower Mall Lahore. Al Quran Al Karim Arabic Punjabi Sharif Kunjahi I. It is available in UMT Lahore code as 61158 and 297-1225914-2 ALQV2. In Quaid e Azam Library Lahore, both volume of Sharif Kunjahi Punjabi translations are available. Library code is 237.45498J2, J1 Shish on Internet. This translation in Punjabi Shamuki is available on Website http colon slash slash apnorg.com slash Quran slash page one dot htm Another Punjabi Shamuki translation by Hakim Mirajud Din Lahori published in 002 by Maktaba Syed Ahamd Shahid Urdu Bazar Lahore. Another Punjabi Shamuki translation by Tokir Aman Khan published in 2012 by Adara Burhan ul Quran 264 Upper Mall, Lahore, Pakistan. Topic. Urdu First Urdu translation of Quran was done by Shah Abdul Qadir, who was the son of Shah Abdul Aziz Delawi. One of the authentic translation of Quran in Urdu was done by Imam Ahmed Raida Khan and was named Kanzal Iman. Maulana Ashik Elahi Marathi also translated the Quran in Urdu. Tafsir e Marathi is a renowned translation of Quran along with Tafsir and Shan e Nazul in Urdu by Maulana Ashik Elahi Marathi, as well as Irfan ul Quran, a translation by Muhammad Tahir ul Qadri, also an Urdu translation of the Quran. 
Mutalaya Quran Mountal Kran by Abdullah, 2014, is an Urdu translation. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Bengali. Gurish Chandra Sen, a Brahmo Samaj missionary, was the first person to produce a complete translation of the Quran into Bangla language in 1886. Although a currently known to be incomplete translation was made by Amiruddin Basunia in 1808. Abbas Ali of Kandipur West Bengal was the first Muslim who translated the entire Quran into Bangla. It is also said that one Mulana Muhammad Noimuddin of Tangail translated first ten chapters of Quran in Bangla. Besides many translated Quranic exegesis are available in Bengali language. Maulana Mahiyuddin Khan was also a known Bangladeshi who translated the Mariful Quran into Bangla language. Hindi and Gujarati Kanzal Iman was also translated into the Hindi, followed by Bengali and Gujarati. Tamil Translated as Fathur Rama Phi Tarjimati Tafsir al Quran, Quran translation by Sheikh Mustafa, 1836 to 25 July 1888, Baruwala Sri Lanka. Later on Abdul Hamid Bakavi Tamil Nadu India Topic <inaudible> Turkish Elmalili Muhammad Hamdi Yazir worked on Quranic exegesis in maturity context and published his Hak Dini Quran Dili in Turkish in 1935 Haki Yilmaz worked on the Quran through the root meanings of the Arabic words and published a study called Tebayan ul Quran and he also published a division-by-division division interpretation in the order of revelation. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Japanese. The first translation into Japanese was done by Sakamoto Kenichi in 1920. Sakamoto worked from Rodwell's English translation. Takahashi Guro, Bunpachiro Ahmad Ariga, and Mizuo Yamaguchi produced Japan's second translation in 1938. The first translation from the Arabic was done by Toshihiko Izutsu in 1945. In 1950, another translation appeared by Shumai Okawa (1886–1957), who had been charged with war crimes after the World War II on account of his anti-Western sympathies. Other translations have appeared more recently by Ban Yasuneri and Osamu Ikeda in 1970, and by Umar Ryoichi Mita in 1972. Topic. Chinese It is claimed that Yusuf Ma Dexin is the first translator of the Quran into Chinese. However, the first complete translations into Chinese did not appear until 1927, although Islam had been present in China since the Tang Dynasty 618 Wang Jingchai was one of the first Chinese Muslims to translate the Quran. His translation, the Gulanjing Yiji, appeared in either 1927 or 1932, with new revised versions being issued in 1943 and 1946. The translation by Li Tiejung, a non-Muslim, was not from the original Arabic, but from John Meadows Rodwell's English via Sakamoto Ken Ichi's Japanese. A second non-Muslim translation appeared in 1931, edited by Ji Juemi. Other translations appeared in 1943, by Lu Jinbiao, and 1947, by Yang Zhongming. The most popular version today is the Gulanjing, translated by Ma Jian, parts of which appeared between 1949 and 1951, with the full edition being published posthumously only in 1981. Tong Daozhong, a Muslim Chinese-American, produced a modern translation, entitled Gulanjing, in 1989. The most recent translation appeared in Taipei in 1996, the Qingzhen Shiliu Gulanjing Xinyi, translated by Shen Shajun, but it has not found favor with Muslims. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Indonesian languages. The Quran has also been translated to Asanese, Baganese, Gorontalo, Javanese, Sundanese, and Indonesian of Indonesia, the most populous Muslim country in the world. 
Translation into Aisnese was done by Mahijuddin Yusuf in 1995, into Biganese by Dada Smiley and Na Dang Manampo in 1982, into Gorontalo by Lukman Kadali in 2008, into Javanese by Narpa 1913, Kyai Bisiri Mustafa Rembang 1964, and Khr Muhammad Adnan, in Sundanese by A. A. Dalin, H. Kamaruddin Shale, Ju Rusamzi in 1965, and in Indonesian at least in three versions, a DT. Madjoindo, H. M. Kazim Bakery, Imam M. Noor Idris, A. Hassan, Mahmoud Yunus, H. S. Fashruddin, H. Hamidi, all in the 1960s, Muhammad Diponegoro, Bakhtiar Surin, all in the 1970s, and Departement Agama Republik Indonesia, Indonesian Department of Religious Affair. Topic: <laughs> Nuclear Malayo-Polynesian Languages. William Shellebert (1862–1948), a British scholar and missionary in Malaysia, after translating the Bible into the Malay language, began a translation of the Quran, but died in 1948 without finishing it. Topic: <laughs> African languages. Translation of the Quran to Swahili by Sheikh Ali Musan Al Barwani. Translation of the Quran to Hausa by Sheikh Muhammad Gumi. Translation of the Quran to Yoruba by Sheikh Adam Abdullah al Alori. Translation of the Quran to Dagbanli by Sheikh M. Baba Gabedobu. <inaudible> Esperanto After the fall of the Shah, Ayatollah Khomeini of Iran called on Muslims to learn Esperanto. Shortly thereafter, an official Esperanto translation of the Quran was produced by the state. Alama Muztar Abbasi also translated the Quran into Esperanto and wrote a biography of Muhammad and several other books in Esperanto and Urdu. In 1970, Professor Italo Chusi, of the Ahmadiyya sect, translated the Quran into Esperanto. See also List of translations of the Quran History of the Quran Literary translation Tafsir Topic References Topic Further reading Tabawi, AL nineteen sixty two Is the Quran translatable? The Muslim World fifty two one four to sixteen doi.10.1111 slash j.1478-1913.1962.tbs.1 Tabawi, AL 1962. Topic. 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 of Translations of the Quran into European Languages, in, AFL. Beeston et al., eds., Arabic Literature to the End of the Umayyad Period Cambridge, Cambridge University Press, 1983, pp. 502-520. Wilson, M. Brett 2009. The First Translations of the Qur'an and in Modern Turkey 1924 International Journal of Middle East Studies. 41 419-35. doi.10.1017.s00207438091132. Ottoman Alema, Turkish Republic Agents of Change and Guardians of Tradition. Stanford University Press. ISBN 978-0-8047-7311-9. Fitzpatrick, Chelly, Walker, Adam Muhammad in History, Thought, and Culture An Encyclopedia of the Prophet of God. ABC Clio Inc. pp. 510-512. ISBN 978-1-61069-177-2 External links English Quran translations side by side with audio All Quran Quran Translation Project Islam Awakened English Quran translations compared verse by verse Learn Quran online with Tajweed George Grigor, Les Contraires, Al Adad, Dans le Coran et leur Equivalence, Dans les Traductions, Bucharest, 2004.